Well, hello and welcome to Wildcat Week as we bring you the best of Indiana Wesleyan University sports highlights and updates. I'm Roger Alcock. Well, to kick things off, we are with a very special guest today making his very first appearance, his debut on Wildcat Week. And I like the sound of this, the head football coach, football coach at Indiana Wesleyan, Jordan Langs. And Jordan, welcome to Indiana Wesleyan. It's great to have you here and it's great to be talking football. Yes, finally. It's been uh, about four or five months coming, but we're really, really excited to be here. Well, I think a lot of people, maybe if they've read a little bit about you or seen a little bit about you, know that you came to Indiana Wesleyan from Wheaton College, a very successful Division III program up by Chicago. You were most recently the defensive coordinator, but maybe you can give us just a little bit broader idea about your background and your experience. Right, so I grew up Southwest Michigan, Climax Scots High School, played for my father, uh, fouled my older brother to Wheaton to play, mm -hmm. 2008, played for four years, had a great experience, uh, stayed on immediately and coached. Mm -hmm. Even before I graduated, I was coaching before I graduated in May of 2012. Coached the defensive backs, mm -hmm. safeties the first year, DBs the second. And in the third year, Coach Swider took a, a chance on me, our head coach, and hired me as defensive coordinator. Now, so you're, that's where we got there. Excuse me, your rival to Indiana Wesleyan delayed a little bit because you guys made a pretty deep run into the, uh, in, into the playoffs, didn't you? Yeah, so we ended up going to the quarterfinals this year mm -hmm. at Wheaton. And something that we wanted to do after when he accepted this job in August, was we wanted to finish at Wheaton well because mm -hmm. we owed it a lot. So I think we did that. We, we made a run to the quarterfinal, had another great defensive year. So we just wanted to make sure that we finished the job. Can you take us back to kind of maybe that first time you saw the posting, head football coach at Indiana Wesleyan, thought, hey, I'm going to take a shot at this. And, and then when you got the call, it had to be a pretty exciting day. So, so my buddy was the one that told me about it, a, a buddy of mine that played with me at Wheaton, grew up in Indianapolis, had some family in the area. He told me about it. I, I was shocked. So I started doing some digging and, mm -hmm. and finding some inroads. And God, God just really blessed us. Our experience at Wheaton prepared us for this mm -hmm. type of thing. And God blessed us with the opportunity to talk with the interview committee and things like that. And I got the call from Mark DeMichael, to be honestly, to be honest with you, it was surreal. I mean, it yeah. felt, it was a big, big blessing. It was a big intersection and, and turning point in Lindsay and I's uh, life. And we just were forever grateful for it. So you're not just coming into a program, you're starting a program from scratch. There's a lot to do. I mean, more things to do than probably any of us can even imagine. But I do know that whether you're talking tiddlywinks or football or basketball, or whatever, if you're going to compete in college sports, recruiting is a big part of right. that. So I know you've had some people contact you, but now you're here and you're going to start reaching out more. What does the footprint look like or the recruiting process look like for Indiana Wesleyan football? Where do you go, go and what do you look for? So before we even talk about where we go football-wise, the first thing we'll do is find kids who fit the mission of the university. Mm -hmm. We won't sacrifice that. It's going to be our identity and we're going to be proud of it. Mm -hmm. From that aspect, after that, we need to find 50 football players in this first class. We're looking for the first 50 to be a part of team mm -hmm. number one. And so from there, we'll, we want to be great in Indiana. We want, we want the best football players in Grant County to play for IW. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we want to be borders, Ohio, Michigan, mm -hmm. Illinois. And I think there'll be some other spots, Nashville, mm -hmm. California, Texas, Colorado, that we'll, we'll recruit very specifically. But from a quantity standpoint, we'll stay within the borders. Can you give us a quick idea, and I know we don't have much more time left, but when people watch Indiana Wesleyan football in 2018, offensively, defensively, what does that look like? Do you like to run spreads? Do you like to run more pro style, some right. kind of hybrids? Or defensively, what, what are those kind of your, your philosophy in those well, areas? Well, what I always say is we want to run the offense that scores the most points, mm -hmm. and we want to the defense gives it the least. But honestly, from a philosophy perspective, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we use the talent in our roster mm -hmm. the best we can. So our philosophy is we want to play with a lot of discipline, with great technique, and play really hard. Mm -hmm. Those things can be applied to different philosophies per mm -hmm. the, the abilities of our kids. So we want to make sure we don't we don't have something we have in mind schematically where we're just gonna we're gonna use it no matter what. We want to make sure we can adjust with to help our kids be at their best. One of the things I know you're excited about, and people tell me all the time when they drive down 45th Street, they see the construction of the new stadium. And the thing I love, and I, and I know talking to you a little bit that you love about it, this is a football facility. Yeah. It's not the track stadium that we're going to put a football field right. in the middle. It's, it's, it's the field, it's the other facilities around it. It's going to be an amazing place. Isn't well, it? I think what's so cool is when you drive down 45th and you see it, it doesn't reflect Wildcat football. It reflects Indiana Wesleyan mm -hmm. University. There's nothing done here halfway. Never has been, never will be. So when it's time, when they decide, when President Wright wanted to put football here, 
everyone knew it was going to be done the right way. Mm -hmm. And so that's exactly, it's a reflection of the university and the leadership. You've already got some staff here working hard, uh, looking to add some more staff, or what's that process look like? So we want, we want to hire a defensive coordinator and offensive line coach ASAP. Mm -hmm. And those things will happen, we think, here in the next few weeks. We have okay. a few interviews set up. Um, and then from there, it's about identifying young uh, coaching talent, no different than recruiting. You've got to find coaches who fit the mission, mm -hmm. and then also who are very talented in the profession. We'll find those guys as they come. Well, uh, last question, last thought. Mid-States Football Association, it's an NAI conference. There's some pretty good football in there. In fact, the University of St. Francis just came out of there and won a national championship. So we're going to start play in a really good league. Mm -hmm. The best league. I mean, there's, no, there's no conference like it in the country. And that can, there's no way you can prepare this thing without that letting, letting that sharpen you. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no doubt as we prepare, we think about what the standard's going to be mm -hmm. in the Mid-States Football Association. So we're preparing for that. We're also focused on our process. We can't worry about trying to be St. Francis or mm -hmm. Marion. We can't worry about beating Taylor. We got to worry about us, mm -hmm. focused on us being at our best. We do that, we think we're going to achieve those things. Well, Coach, it's great to have you on Wildcat Week for the first time. I don't think it'll be the last time, so we'll I look hope forward not. to it. Yeah, I we'll see not. you uh, in the future, talk a little more Wildcat football. Awesome, that'd be great. 